I can see them. No, couldn't possibly be. Getting pretty close to them. Hi everyone, it's a pretty sunny Friday evening and I thought I'd give some credits to the name of the channel and look for signs of horses. I live very close to a national park and there are a herd of Koenig, Koenig's horses grazing there and I suppose it's around the time that they are having foals and such so I thought it would be great if I see if I can spot them and shoot some video there and just have a little chat and talk about what I see the horses doing in horse behaviour. Plus it's going to be gorgeous out there. So without further ado, let's drive. Just to show you how amazingly gorgeous this place is. Out there somewhere, that's where our house is, in the distance. This is the old dike keeping the sea out. And then that's where the nature reserve is, the national park. And this is our old fields and beautiful stuff. So it's actually just a 360 of horizon and sky. I think they're still a kilometer or two away. And I'm not sure I can trek there by foot. Hope you can hear me over the wind noise. Always oh, wind noise. So I'm going to jump back into the car and see if I can get closer with the car. Back to the car. Back to the car, Batman. Back to the car, Robin. Let's go. I can see them. I'm not sure if I can get to them. We're going to give it a try. You don't need supreme tracking skills to follow these tracks. <laughs> these are horse tracks, unmistakably. And some human tracks as well. Either this is horse dung or it's cow dung. I can see them right there. I'm a lucky idiot. They're right there. A small group has moved closer. Very lucky. I'm getting pretty close to them. I think about 100 meters away. And I'm keeping my eye on them for any signs that they are disturbed by my presence. It's very open, so they can see me coming. And I have the wind in my back, so they can smell me coming. So there's no stealth or sneaking up on them or any caution or anywhere I can hide behind them, or anything like that. So I'm just gonna keep my eye on them and see if they are okay with me approaching. And the cows are interested. Oh, it's a pretty place. Can you believe that my home, my little house, is about three kilometers that way? Just three kilometers that way. And that's, I mean, that's ridiculous. Okay, I think I'm about 50 meters away from them now. <laughs> the cows are certainly interested. And I'm very glad that this water is between me and the cows. I, um, I think they will run away quicker. Gosh, they have got some horns on them. Whew. Okay, they are paying attention now, so I'm going to stop right here and turn you around and do a bit of filming. Gosh, lucky. So, so lucky. There they are. Keep it steady. 
Come on, camera, you can do this. I know it's far off. Yeah, so that's the rest of the herd. So these guys up here, this little group, could well be a group of young stallions. And that means that the herd with all the mares and if there are any foals is way out there. Oh, it's so pretty. I have no feeling in some of my fingers. It is way colder than I thought it would be. And I've been feeling really, really tired lately. So, I don't know. But it was, uh, oh, it was totally worth it. Totally worth it. I, I'm so glad I took you along. Well, that's it. That's the end of the vlog. It's a simple one. I hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for the next video. Thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing, thank you for telling your friends to subscribe, and thank you for releasing your inner Viking.